listeners cracking up each week, yes, each week, with his hilarious podcast, Adulting. Please welcome Jordan Carlos to my lab. Thank you. Jordan. Oh, my gosh. You know, I, uh, you, you are a New Yorker. You I am. feel, do you feel like New York is finally getting back to normal? It, it is, Sherry. I'm really happy about that. People are coming out more. I mean, it's, this audience is out and about, and they're a beautiful <laughs> audience as well. Yes. Um, like, I got to see my therapist in yeah. real life. Um, okay. Which was cool. Got to smell her weird cat, and, uh, <laughs> which is great. And I knew New York was back when I left my therapist's office, go out into the street, I'm in the intersection, and this re other real deal New Yorker lady, she's like, stop right there, stop it, stop! <laughs> Aren't you somebody? <laughs> <Just like that. laughs> Aren't you somebody? Yeah. So then I just walked right back into my therapist's office because um, that was the question I was trying to answer for the past hour. <laughs> Am I somebody? I didn't know there'd be a hot pop quiz when I walked outside. But... You got it. Yes. I love this, and I love this about you because you've been happily married. Yes. But you, but you happily married. Yes. Uh, uh. What? <laughs> you were not a fan of your wife's hobbies. Yes. Um, I would just point out that my, my wife is a, a white uh, person. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> and um, and I, I only point that out because um, she likes to go jogging. And she was like, during, during the pandemic, she was like, babe, let's go jogging. You know, let's, let's go running. I was like, you're faster than me. If you we went jogging, it would look like I was chasing you, right? Like, <laughs> that'd be great, you know? And then the cops would just be like, yeah, we got a black dude chasing a white woman out here. Um, <laughs> Here's the weird part, they're in matchy, matchy, Lululemon outfits, right? <laughs> so I tell her this and she's like, fine, fine, just go by yourself. And I was like, yeah, great, just a black man running down the street. <laughs> That's never been a problem in the history of the world. Um, <laughs> but I'm just jealous because she doesn't have to take anything when she goes running. She just takes her little AirPods, right? And she has her little scrunchie for her ponytail. Me, I gotta take three forms of ID. Uh, <laughs> Blood sample <laughs> and, and, and bail money. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and let me tell you, <laughs> and, and let me tell you, black people, we love to run. We love to yes, run yes. on tracks. You see what I'm saying? Yes. On tracks. You cannot touch us on a track. Why? Because that gun goes off. Bang. And we are just. And you are out. You are gone. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have any questions, okay. Sherry. <laughs> You are gone. We're gone. <laughs> now, you're married yeah. to your wife, but I heard that she likes you to go apple picking. Yes, so, she does, yes. What when, is this? When you're, they don't, when you're married to a white, they don't tell you, <laughs> they don't tell you how much apple picking is involved, and it's like, <laughs> and it's, not, it's not a little. I'm sorry, it's not a little, it's a lot. And, um, but she was like, do you wanna go apple picking with me? And I was like, I'm black, we picked everything we're gonna pick. <laughs> um, cont <laughs> controversial, controversial. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> we don't just do it for funsies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so she went, but I, I, have you ever been? It's actually, it's fun. I, okay, I, I've never I been, out, it's, okay. It's a, get, a, get a white friend and go. And um, <laughs> it's fun, I went out there and I was, I was picking the apples, but there's this philosopher, Carl Jung, who said, I remember this in college, he said, everything that your ancestors feel, you felt, oh. right? And, and so I, I felt that for the first time in this field, but, because by the third row, I dropped my basket and I was like, who low? <laughs> And then it, it started, I was like, mm hmm <laughs> Fuji, Macintosh, <laughs> hey, look. These are types of apples. These are types of apples. <laughs> I had a rag in my back pocket for some reason. I was like, they're working so hard, Lord. Like, <laughs> yes. I was ladling water. I was like, where'd I get a ladle? I don't know where I got. Oh, gosh. I don't know. But it's, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> It's Wait, fun, you know. So you got, uh, Jordan, you got children, but you I think do. that you think that your son does not look like you. Because he doesn't. Um, <laughs> I have I have a white son, and um, <laughs> it's cool. We took the test. He's mine. Um, <laughs> his name is Malcolm, by the way, Sherry. Malcolm. Yes. And uh, well, we didn't name him that after we saw him. So um, it was when my wife was pregnant. So we were like, okay, let's name him like Malcolm L. Hash Malik. Make white people uncomfortable. X, right? And then yes. he. Nine months later, he come out looking like Malcolm in the middle. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but it's, it's cool. It's cool. My, my son doesn't look like me, but that's okay sometimes because he's like a handful. He's very entitled. Where did he get that from? Uh, and, um, so at the playground one time, he took off his diaper and he yes. put it on this other girl's head. Oh, he did? Yes. This was in Manhattan. And he runs around and he's like, no rules, no rules. And then these very bougie Manhattan parents are like, Whose child is this? <laughs> Whose child is this? And I was like, clearly not mine. So um, <laughs> I blame the music that they listen to. Uh, 
where are the fathers? <laughs> you, you, and you, so you read to your kids all I the do. time, but you said that there are some books that you will not read to your kids. Yes, I know we were trying to ban these books, but there is there. I, I'm not on that wagon, but there is one book in particular I would ban, and that is Green Eggs and Ham. Really? I don't know if y'all have read Green Eggs and Ham lately. I know, I'm, I'm about to destroy your childhood, <laughs> but like. But in Green, Green Eggs and Ham, right, it's, to me, it should just be a one-page book about what? Consent. Right? OK. All right. Do you want these eggs and ham? Nah. End of the book. OK. Eight, nine pages later, how about with a fox? How about in a box, right? How about here and there? Um, excuse me, just try to keep your eggs and ham out of my body, OK? Like, <laughs> right? I mean, what am I teaching my child here, right? Okay. He said, I do not want it here or there. I do not want it anywhere. No means no, right? What am I teaching my kid here, Sherry? <laughs> George, I'm saying. I, I love it. I want to thank you for being here. Of course. Uh, you guys can catch Jordan in Survival of the Thickest, yes. July 13th on Netflix.